You're listening to Stand Out Get Noticed, episode 193. Hi there, Rockstar, and welcome to Stand Out Get Noticed. This is the podcast for professionals and business leaders who want to speak and communicate more effectively in order to create more confidence and impact in the workplace. I'm Christina Cantors, keynote speaker, coach, and founder of the C Method Communication Skills Training. You can learn more at thecmethod.com. Wow, everyone. It is a brand new year. Welcome to 2019. I'm so excited, guys. So excited. I hope you had a fabulous end to your 2018 and a brilliant start. Um, I am particular, I, I am in particular very excited about 2019. I've got a lot of exciting things happening this year. Um, firstly, I am getting married in April, which is something I'm very much looking forward to and have a couple of overseas trips planned as well, plus some big things planned for um, my businesses. So I cannot wait to have you along on the journey with me for all of those things. Okay, so this podcast is, I wanted to make it topical because it is the new year, but I didn't want to do like a goal setting podcast because I've done that before. And to be honest, I know that goal setting can be a bit overwhelming and it can actually be a little bit um, off-putting for some people because when you set these tangible goals that you want to achieve, if you don't achieve them, sometimes you can feel a little bit bad about yourself or you feel bad that you didn't do those things to to reach those goals. And, you know, this may have happened to you. Have You, you know, you may have set some New Year's resolutions or goals but then you didn't actually end up achieving them and then not feeling that great about yourself. So today I'd like to offer you an alternative to how you can think about what you'd like to achieve in 2019 and approach it a bit differently. And it's all about thinking about the person you want to be. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a minute. All uh, the show notes for this episode will be at thecmethod.com slash 193, where you'll be able to find um, all the other things that I mention. Okay, so firstly, why is it important? Why am I talking about being a certain way instead of doing certain things? Now, this ties into the topic of identity that I have addressed a number of times on this podcast episode 145 in particular, it's called How Do You See Yourself and Is It Holding You Back? And episode 150 is all about how to let go of your old identity. And to quickly, to give you a bit of a, um, a, a recap, the way we see ourselves, that is the person who we are, that is our, ident- our identity, it can help us to achieve our goals and it can hold us back also from achieving our goals. For example, if you know that you need to um, share your ideas at work in order to gain recognition and advance in your career. But the way you see yourself is, I'm an introvert, therefore I don't speak up in meetings. If that's how you see yourself, then it's likely you won't be speaking up in meetings and sharing your ideas. Another example, I've met people who say, you know, I really want to go to networking events. I I want to, you know, build strong business relationships, meet new people. And then I invite them to come to one of my networking groups and I say, oh, come to my, my networking group. We meet every Friday, every second Friday at 7.30 in the morning. And then they say, oh, no, I can't do that. I'm not a morning person. So you can see there how their identity, and I want you to think how this plays out for you, how they're, the, the way they see themselves, such as, you know, oh, I'm not a morning person, it actually holds them back from doing the thing that they need to do in order to achieve their goals. So the, the the person you are, so who you are being, right, that comes before the actual doing. Because if you're not being that person, then you're not going to go out and do those things. It reminds me of a, I don't watch many Simpsons episodes, but um, going through this, doing this episode reminds me of um, the episode where, Um, there's a a self-help guru comes to Springfield. His name's Brad Goodman and he's addressing the audience and he says, you see folks, we're all trying to please someone else. And as soon as you're not a human being, you're a human doing. Then what comes next? And then Bart goes, 
a human going. And then everyone has a laugh and then they create a do what you feel day and then it's all a disaster, all a disaster, but it's hilarious. Anyway, so this is what I mean by, um, by the, by think about the person you want to be or the person you want to become. So to give you an example of how this would look in terms of um, what you would do versus how you would be, if your goal is to, say, speak in front of an audience and have your message connect with your uh, listeners, with your audience, to achieve that, here are some things you could do, all right, some activities, some tasks you could do. Number one, you could download and fill out my speech and presentation template. I know many of you have done that if you've got a, um, a, a speech or presentation coming up. Another thing you could do would be to practice your presentation at least five times over and over. Another thing you could do would be to, you know, ask for feedback from colleagues. So those are some things that you can do to help you achieve that goal. Another example, let's say your goal is to get a promotion at work. To achieve that, some things you could do, firstly, it could be build your visibility within the workplace by going to networking events. So that's something you could do. Another thing could be organize a performance review meeting with your manager. Another thing that could be to um, prepare a presentation that demonstrates your value. Again, these are all things that you can do. But to do those things, right, you need to believe or have that identity that you are that person who would do those things, okay? So getting clear on who you want to be is critically important. This is why I'm encouraging you to focus on this first before setting yourself goals that require you to do. So to give you an example of how you might shift this to um, to something that you would be, you could write down certain um, goals such as, I need to be... Oh, sorry, not goals, but in terms of what you'd like to become. It could be a compassionate person, a good listener, an effective leader, a kind and patient parent, a professional speaker, a person who feels the fear and does it anyway, a proactive person, a healthy person, a disciplined person, an introvert who can become a little bit more extroverted if they choose. All right, that's an identity a millionaire. Okay. So all of these are identities that you can work on becoming. And the awesome thing about focusing on this, instead of, instead of saying, you know, I want the promotion. If you instead focus on being um, a compassionate leader who is a good listener, right? If you still don't achieve your end goal of be, of um, getting that promotion, you, you can still have achieved becoming that person right? You can still, you know, becoming that person isn't black or white. It's very great. So it's on a, a scale. So you can still be becoming a more effective leader. You can still be getting better at, at being a listener. You can be developing your compassion. And that's, that's an achievement in itself. It's not like you become compassionate and that's it, right? You're, you know, some days you might, you might feel more compassionate than others, but you're constantly working. And that in itself is an in is an achievement. So you can still be an effective, authentic leader without getting that promotion, right? And then then you will still feel good about it because that's what you have worked on, on becoming, right? Um, another example, your goal might be to lose 10 pounds, let's say. It's New Year, you're like, oh my goodness, putting all this weight after Christmas, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. Um, but if, if the person that you need to become to do that is to be a discipline, disciplined person who doesn't eat junk food, right? So instead of saying, I'm going to lose 10 pounds, and then if you lose eight pounds, then you feel terrible. If you say, I want to become, or I am becoming a disciplined person who doesn't eat junk food. If that's what you focus on, you could still, like, if you, if you lose two pounds, that's still an achievement because you're becoming that disciplined person who doesn't eat junk food. So you're slowly, slowly getting there. Um, for me, um, one goal for me this year is to double my business revenue. That's a, that's a big goal. It's a big goal for me. I'm making six figures. So doubling that is quite a leap. Um, so I'm excited. I'm proud of where I've gotten to up to this point, but I'm absolutely determined to get to that next level. 
And I was thinking about this in terms of, you know, so that's the tangible goal. And there's all these things I could do to get there. But I was thinking in order for me to achieve that goal, the things I need to be include I need to be a bold risk taker. I need to be a delegator because if I want to get to the next level of revenue, I need to start building a team, which means I need to start delegating. And I need to be a great team leader because up until this point, I've been working, Aaron and myself have been working in our other business, Podcast Services Australia. We've brought in contractors, but we're the two main people who are working in the business. And now we're looking to build a bigger team. So that means I need to go from doing the work to being a great um, leader. Now, all of these things, they're actually different. I need to assume a different identity than what I assumed in 2018. And I'll explain why. Anything that you do where you want that you want to take to the next level, what got you to where you are currently at? If you want to get to the next level, you're going to have to start doing things differently. And there's a great saying that goes, what got you here won't get you there. And it's also the title of a, a book by Marshall Goldsmith. And this applies to all areas of your life. You know, what got you to the point where you, are, where you are now is great, but if you want to go next level, you've got to start doing things differently. So this is what I've realized um, with my business. If I'm going to reach the, the big goals that I want to achieve in 2019, I'm going to have to do things differently and not do them the way that I was doing them in 2018. It's not to say that doing what I was doing was wrong. It's just that getting to the next level requires something different. So if you're feeling stuck or dissatisfied in your role at work, if, you're, if you've got to a certain point and you're like, you know, I've done really well up until this point, but something's missing, I want to take this next level, you know, you might be feeling frustrated that you haven't gotten to the point that you'd like to, I want you to think about the person you have been up until this point to get to where you are. So maybe you've been a hard worker, a good team member, Maybe you're the quiet achiever and those things may have gotten you and you may have found, you know, a level of success up until this point, but being those things may not be what's required to get you to the next level. So if you want to get to the next level, you need to become something different. It could be that you need to be a good networker. Maybe you need to be someone who shares their ideas openly. Maybe you need to be someone who's more vulnerable in front of others. Maybe you need to be the person who speaks first in meetings. So have a think about what is a new identity or what is the person you need to become in order to get to that that next level that you want in your career or in any area of your life. Okay, Rockstar. So in a moment, I'm going to share with you some simple steps as to how you can start to cultivate this person that you want to be. Well, how do you go about doing that? But first, I have something really exciting I want to share with you. Let's take a quick break. If you are a working professional, this announcement is for you. Applications for the next round of the group coaching program are now open. Now, this program is for high-performing professionals and business leaders who want to dramatically increase their influence, impact, and confidence at work. This is an eight-week program where you'll learn how to become a trusted advisor at work, build a strong and clear professional presence, connect powerfully with your co-workers and stakeholders, be an effective leader and role model for your team, persuade and influence your audience when public speaking, articulate yourself and your ideas clearly, effectively communicate your value, and most of all, Feel good in that success that you create for this for yourself. You know, I created this program because during my years working for a large company in the architecture industry, I saw how important it is to be confident, to speak up and to communicate effectively if you want to stand out and progress rapidly. But, you know, these skills are generally not taught at uni. I mean, they certainly didn't teach me in architecture school. And I've had so many clients come to me for help with these skills and to help them navigate through situations at work that require them. So this is what led me to creating this program and I'm very excited to share it with you. 
The training's conducted online, so it can be done from anywhere. So if you're a successful professional, you can be male or female, and you want to accelerate faster towards your goals, then I invite you to book in a discovery call with me. We'll explore if you qualify for the program and I'll be able to answer any questions you have. Go to thecmethod.com slash group coaching to book in a call. The link is also in the description of this app. That is thecmethod.com slash group coaching. The next program starts February 5th and it runs for eight weeks. So if you're ready to take your career to the next level and you want a supportive group around you and some structure around how you learn the skills of effective speaking, communication and leadership, then don't wait any longer. Reach out. Book in a call with me at thecmethod.com slash group coaching. I look forward to speaking with you. Okay, back to the show. Okay, Rockstar, I want to share with you a few simple steps. This this is very simple um, of how you can work towards becoming that person you want to be, which is then going to help accelerate you towards your goals. The first thing you can do is to decide who you want to be or become. So write that down. I gave you some examples before. You know, I want to be a compassionate person, an effective leader, you know, a confident speaker. Right, So write down those things that you want to become. The next thing you can do, step two, is to look for mentors or people who are already being that. Right, So find out who is already doing what, uh, sorry, who was already being the person that you want to be. Find people who inspire you. Find mentors, people you look up to. And then I'd like you to write down, this is step three, What does someone who is already that thing, who is already being that thing, what do they feel on a daily basis? What would they think on a daily basis? How do they speak? How do they behave? So really have a think about this. If you want, you could even ask them, you know, ask them. So what do you think about? What does your morning look like? When this happens, when you come up with a a challenge, how do you, how do you um, feel about that? How do you think about it? Or you could ask yourself those questions, right? So, if, you know, put yourself in the shoes of that person and pretend that you are that person and think, okay, if I was that person, what would I be thinking right now? I had to do this with coffee. I was trying to give up coffee and... I would always find myself going back and drinking it and then feeling horrible and then getting a migraine and then regretting my actions and thinking, why can't I just stop drinking coffee? And I thought to myself, okay, I need to be someone who does not drink coffee. Not that, not, because before I was, I was someone who um, really liked coffee, but had it occasionally, maybe had it a little bit. And then, you know, it was very murky. So I decided I needed to be someone who did not drink coffee. And I thought, what does someone who does not drink coffee think about? Do they think about drinking coffee? Do they have that internal monologue going, oh, should I have a coffee today? I didn't have one yesterday. Does that mean it's okay? Maybe I'll just get a half strength. Maybe I'll get a decaf. Oh, I don't know. Do they do good get decaf here? That, I swear to you, was the internal monologue that was going on whenever I thought about drinking coffee. Now, being a person who does not drink coffee, they don't have that internal monologue. They just go, I'll have the green tea. (laughs) You know, they don't even think about it. So I've had to train myself to just not even have that internal dialogue about the coffee. And that has helped me so much to just take away that that inner chatter and it frees up my mind to think about other things, more important things, like what am I going to do for the podcast this week? So those are the three things, the three steps, right? Decide who you want to be or become. Look for mentors or people who are already that thing and then write down, what do they think? Right, what do they feel? How do they speak? Now, you might be thinking, yeah, well, Christina, what do you mean change my thoughts? I can't just change my thoughts. Well, I'm here to tell you that, yes, you absolutely can. You have complete control over what you think. So I want you to put yourself in that person's position if you're struggling with this. Think to yourself, let's say you want to be a confident public speaker. Think to yourself, if I were a confident public speaker, what would I think about my audience? 
What would I say to myself? And don't just say, I don't know. You know. So I want you to give yourself the space to think of the answers. So I hope that that helps you as you move forward into your 2019. And I hope you have a wonderful start to the year and that you're feeling energized and rejuvenated and ready to take on this new year. And just know that you can right now start being that person you want to become. Now, if you found this podcast valuable, please do share it with a friend. It is one of the best ways to get the podcast listened to and shared with more people. So I really appreciate you you doing that. And that brings this week's episode to a close. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Keep on being awesome and I'll talk to you next week. I'm Christina Cantors and this has been Stand Out, Get Noticed. (laughs) 